Hey guys, sorry for the uh, bad audio quality, but I can't get my mic to work, so I'm just using the uh, built-in mic. But anyway, today I'm going to show you guys how to dramatically improve your uh, performance in your laptop or desktop for gaming, at least. And it can also work for uh, video editing and things like that. So in the description, there will be two files. One's called MSI Afterburner. The other one is called Throttle Stop. MSI Afterburner will overclock your GPU, while Throttle Stop will overclock your CPU. So let's open up and I'll show you how to use it. Throttle Stop is probably the easier one to use because there's only a few settings in there and they help out a lot. Here's Afterburner. Okay, so um, once you... Uh, now here I have something where it switches from internal graphics to um, my GT 550M graphics card so I have to be playing the game and then I uh, minimize the window and I change all this so what you would have to do is uh, make sure that it's using the video card that you're running the game on and in here you would just change this uh, from 1 to 2 and hit turn on and this is going to overclock your CPU. You can see I have an i7, and the temp, the temp will, yeah, it'll increase a little bit, but not too much. And you can also change it for your internet or battery. So if you want to save a lot of battery, you can check that, or if you're just on the internet. So that's that. And now MSI Afterburner, you might have to look up some uh, Google stuff here because this is a default. It'll be somewhere like in the middle. And you're gonna have to increase it until your GPU usage is at about set like the high 90s to make sure you're squeezing everything you can out of there. And you also have to make sure your your um, CPU temp temperature does not get too high because I, I keep mine under about 80 just to be safe. So these are my settings. I just saved mine at profile one. Here's your core clock and your memory clock. Like I said, just be sure you go on Google, try to find your model or uh, similar components to your computer that way you don't um, crash your graphics card or mess it up or anything like that so when I'm playing a game I'll just hit profile 1 and I'll hit apply and then it's going to apply it and once again everything's going to start to kind of rise but I'm not using my GPU right now so it's not actually going to do anything so I'll just reset there and um, yeah that's pretty much it these files will be in the description for you guys to download. Uh, they're both free, and they both work really great. I, I'll have some benchmarks later on in the video. I'll not be recording the screen with it, though, because I want to show the FPS of what I'm actually playing.